what's up? Thanks for staying down here. This one's well, right now, I'm, I'm TC, this is Casper, and this is my sister, Shelly. We all live here pretty much in Olympia. I lived on the streets around the Shmoney areas and the States ever since I was about eight years old. It's not good. You know, people die. My friend Larry, over on 10th Avenue, he died in explosion. You know, people need a place to stay. Place to live. So you come up with this thing where you're feeding yourself with your paycheck, and you're not acquiring the ability to be able to move into a place and to establish, re-establish yourself as a human being again in the United States. But homelessness is not an issue here in the United States. It's a global issue that's been going on for thousands of years. Abraham was homeless. The cops have fucked with me in vindictive ways. The difference is then and now, Jesus Christ didn't talk about homelessness being a problem, but he wasn't being attacked because he was homeless by our police. And the police do this regularly. They sponsor out and they, and they literally look for people who fit the criteria of a homeless person and attack that person by harassment. <laughs> it's hot, I'm really sad, but <laughs> we kind of got busted, so I, I don't really have a place to live anymore. And I'm the one that takes down names and tries to get shelter for the homeless people. Some of them can get into Salvation Army, and some of them are 86 or who knows what. You know, we just, they treat you like an animal, like a wild animal. Besides, how can you go anywhere without any money? There's always the hitchhiking thing, but I've had bad experiences with that. You know, you're not even warm. You'll get more sick. You're going to freeze like the other people that froze this year already. You gotta look into our souls, you know, into our eyes and find out what we're really about. What is. What is. the you think the cause of homelessness? Well, it depends. It depends. I logged on to the internet about mm, about seven o'clock on the current temperature. Actual temperature was uh, 35 degrees with the wind chill factor. It said it was 29 degrees. So now remember to try for it to open up. It's fucking 32 degrees, not considered a wind chill factor. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> the uh, uh, Salvation Army for the cold. Uh, you know, if it's 35 or below, uh, they let you in. It's a cold policy. They were, turned, <laughs> they were turned away from shelter. Believe it or not, the, I've seen they, they were I've kicked out on the streets. They were kicked out on the streets where it's cold. You know, and they froze. You know, because it was like a refrigerator, you know? Changes from day to day, and no one knows where the homeless are going to be housed. It broke my heart. Two, last two nights that we had no place to go, and I was standing out here just handing blankets out, hoping someone found a safe place to curl up under and not freeze to death. So, we're at war right now in Olympia. Or let's say we're not at war, but the city of Olympia is at war with their homeless, and it's it's a shame. It's a sad sight. It's not good. You know, people die. You know. That's where I'm at right now, and I'm I'm really worried about some of the people that are more vulnerable than other people. There's people out here that um, uh, haven't slept on the streets before without. You know, they, some of them um, have either mental health issues or severe alcoholism, alcoholism. and um, some of them just, some of them have just been in the shelters since I've been working shelters. So tonight I have to tell them have no list.
today we found a, per, a private person's house that we used um, the night before last and they're going to let us come back again but that's for only 10 people and um, it was re it's a really good experience for those who can, I can get out there, the few that I can shelter because um, it's this private person's house and she made like blueberry pancakes for, for some of the um, people and um, uh, some of them watched movies until late in the morning and very quiet. Uh, was out of the city, and I think those that went really enjoyed it. Um, so we're going to do that again tonight, and hopefully um, that'll get some of the... Uh, I, I, I usually pick out some of the more vulnerable people to send them out there again, um, and um, some couples and some people that were on the streets last night that didn't get any sleep. The morning. And so... Um, Kind of a, it's kind of a push-hustle movement to get people to the right place in the shelter network so that they um, have a place to stay. And um, it's kind of part of this shuffle of shuffling homeless people around all the time because today it's going to be, a, uh, for two weeks it'll be at Olympia City Council and then it'll be two weeks um, out in uh, Lacey and then we'll be being here. Salvation Army tonight that are there under cold weather policies um, and they are full tonight and there's a lot of people staying in the emergency shelter network which is again uh, a cold weather policy system. Other people involved with the, the shelter system and they went on, they're not available to even ask questions and so it's Saturday night We've been trying to call around all day long to churches and facilities. We've tried to t talk to people in all kinds of different buildings, and I don't want to start spouting off the different building names so that I don't mess things up in the future for them. But um, we were told this weekend we had this one church for the whole weekend, and then they decided, no, they want to talk to their parishioners first, or um, they want to have a meeting or something first. I'm not sure what. And so that's the same thing we've been running into a lot. People in prison get treated better than people who are homeless. Bad day. Last time we had 27 people on the streets. Um, that's too many. My name is Steve Nelson. I'm a commander with the Olympia Police Department. So a couple of months ago, you started having people here. Well, the city council uh, authorized uh, the chambers for an overflow shelter on cold nights. So the police department happens to be here 24-7. So we're the guys who open up and close it up in the morning. The shelter, and I described exactly what would happen. The only people who could be housed here were people who had been denied from the Lacey and Salvation Army. He said, that's fine. I also talked to Robert over at Bread and Roses about 9.30, and I told him that. He said, fine. For some reason, two and a half hours later, people are supposed to make you get in here. They called me back with some names in there. I checked those names, found out the people hadn't been denied. They're being placed in Salvation Army. We're now waiting for the volunteers to bring the mattresses so that these two gentlemen can go to Wait. The way I see about it, he's giving you the brother. He's saying uh, this and that, you know. We gotta find out all the shelters out there. If they need shelter, let them in. They're cold, they're homeless, they part of the community. Lacey and building to be the other shelter. So the council said that for some reason people have been denied in those shelters that they can come here. And so it's taken us about two hours to verify who's really been denied and who hasn't. And we're down to two people. Okay, okay. 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 I was expecting to go to a shelter. I wasn't expecting to go to some place where there was no restroom, where there was just nothing but floor. We haven't had a problem that I've seen. Do you know where people go? Well, I ask everybody. It seems uh, some people go to the Salvation Army for breakfast. There seems to be a gap of time until 10 a.m. till Bread and Roses open. So I don't really know where they're going. Most people might pull it some two, two things there. He, he's saying, what he's saying is, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
dick. The ass is in lounge behind the counter table, dog. Nice boy, bitch. Two people froze this year already alone. It's just because they were turned away from shelter, you know. And I think personally that's wrong. It's cold hungry. People started cold hungry, and and uh, things were going good as far as what I've uh, understood. And then cold hungry started changing their agenda and and, and not running things the way they're supposed to do. do you know, start going by Sally's rules, and and people started home, homeless organization, mobilizing education. Once for the last three years, and I've been helping people out, getting kids off the streets, which they need a program here for. They don't have one. Ducks. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm trying to get. Oh, and the minus two people last night. Says <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. Where are you going? You don't know, man. He's just going to somewhere where it's warm. You know, they can't well, they gonna listen. They're not going to listen. They could care less if it's the, how cold it is outside. Uh, any mattresses? Everybody might get a couple of blankets. And hopefully we get them all laid down in here. Keep the fire down and hopefully they might get sleep by uh, 11.30 or so. Mm -hmm. Medical problems, physical problems, and everything. No, I'm not going through it anymore. I want some justice. Justice will be served because this is America, is it? Is it? Is this America? Why do I have the time to do that? Thank you.